Welcome to Bite Size. This time we are going to be playing a bit of scrap mechanic and I thought I would show you how to build doors. Things you need to make a door. A type of material as you can see down in the hotbar. You will need a switch, a controller and you will need a connection tool. Now first of all we'll start off with a very simple and basic door. Which is a double sided door that just opens up. All you need is one bearing on each door connected to a switch connected to a controller, or a controller connected to a switch. So that's how to make a very basic double door. Now we'll move on to something a bit more complicated. This side of the door is a halfway position and this one is a fully open door. So what I've done is I've stuck hinges halfway into the door. So we'll just focus on this one for the moment. So when I turn it, it actually turns. So it's actually got a 90 degree bend in the door. And then what this one does is it does another 90 bend and goes against itself again. So we'll watch it, folds out completely. And you can see there is a join here. And the way I've done that is by separating the door sections and adding them to the bearings. So now we move on to something that's a bit better to look at. This is a corridor door that will fold completely flat against the walls. So as you can see, it's, it's effectively a hidden door. So it's completely flat, folds in and goes completely flat. And the way this one works, I've put a block here, which is connected to this run of, of items. Then I've put a solid block, which is connected to the outer wall. And then I've put a bearing on top of this block and then so on and so on on both sides. So when I close it, when you look on the inside, you see there's actually channels for the doors to sit in. Finally, you can go absolutely crazy with these doors. So I've just thrown in a load of different bearings at different places, uh, and I set the controller up, and let's see what this one does. It makes absolutely no sense. There's loads of twists and turns, and there it is. Now, coming back to the basic door, we're gonna look at the controllers now. So this is a controller. It comes up with a menu like this. So this one is connected to two bearings, which is bearing one over there and bearing two over there. And what I've done is I've told bearing one to turn 90 degrees in a positive direction and bearing two to go 90 degrees in a negative direction. So as you can see, an arrow, blue is positive, so the arrow is telling it to spin this way and the negative on number two is telling it to spin this way by 90 degrees. So thank you very much for watching. In the next Bite Size video, I will be showing more technical use of the controller. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions of anything that you've seen in the video that you don't quite understand, please ask or have a look through the playlist and see if I've already done a video on it. Thank you very much and goodbye.